Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can record on SoundCloud.com and then share those recordings. Uh, I just talked about this in the Facebook Live Hangout I did earlier today, and I just kind of want to give a little demonstration of it. So I'm already signed into my account in our window here, and I want to go and select the upload option, and we'll select start a new recording. And that's going to load a new tab to what they call the classic uploader on SoundCloud. And, and you can see here that the first attempt, it's asking me to upload a file. So I'm going to hit upload and share again and select start new recording. And now I have the record button. Just a little quirk of SoundCloud at the moment. Give it access to my microphone. And now I can record and I can talk for as long as I want. Now one of the nice things about SoundCloud is that the finished product, when I share it, I can allow commenting on the track. So if you're thinking about using this in a World Languages course, it's great for having students read dialogue or read a monologue and then go in and comment on their monologue at the exact moment where they made a mistake or at the exact moment where they did something really well. So it's a nice aspect of SoundCloud to be able to comment on the track directly in the timing of the track. All right, so I've saved, the, I've saved this, and we're just going to call it an audio recording on Thursday afternoon because I don't have a better title for it right now sample recording. If you want to upload an image to go with the recording, you can. We'll say this is a recording for education purposes. Now you can make it private or public. Okay. Make it private. If you make it private, uh, the person receiving it will have to have an email address, so um, you can make those choices on your own. You can make it public. We can disable the download option if you want to. Now let's go ahead and save that. Now here's the neat part about it. I'm going to play this recording back. And now I can record and I can talk for as long as I want. Now one of the nice things about SoundCloud... So I just paused it and I'm going to make a comment at five seconds in and say... Uh, Great point. And now that's added directly at the five second mark, which again is why it's a really nice feature in a setting in which you need to give feedback directly at a specific spoken part of the track to your students. Instead of just a summative uh, feedback, you can give feedback directly on the exact moment where they made a mistake or where they did something really, really well. So that's how you can record and comment on SoundCloud recordings. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or freetechforteachers.com.